really drawn to Sam's work because it's the idea of many things, uh, high art, low art, uh, making something precious out of something that is thought of, thought of poorly. For instance, using the idea of the sneakers that are, uh, he was doing a project with uh, some school kids uh, where we're using the sneakers that drug dealers used to hang from telephone wire and making these porcelain precious objects out of these sneakers. So it's something that's, you know, low life thug thing into something almost Rococo. I mean, when he was in graduate school, he won the Walter's Traveling uh, Grant and he went to Brazil which really, really influenced him a lot. And to this day, he still draws from those influences he got from Brazil of voodoo. And so he's mixing like, you know, uh, things from the African diaspora, things from pop culture, things from everyday street culture, and also his craftsmanship and incredible. His prints are just divine. I'd like to talk about the prints too, because yeah. I love the ceramics, but yeah. I really love the prints so much. And part of it is that those wonderful arabesques that are based on blacksmithing tradition and... Voodoo and uh, Taria. Yeah, yeah. He's knitting together history in my mind, Ozzy, too, is that what he talks about is bronze workers from West Africa being enslaved, coming and becoming the blacksmiths in many of the colonial areas. And that's Brazil as well as the American South. In New Orleans. And then working on a lot of the wrought iron. Yeah. And then he'll pair that with an image from contemporary African diaspora, like the sneaker or the lid, the hat. And I think that's very clever. And it's also kind of knits together history from yeah. the enslavement, but also the craft that was brought with that often sometimes bought their freedom and then tying into this contemporary, but of a skill and a craft base that goes back and tying this history together. And it's layered. That's yeah, the other thing yeah, about the prints. I know. Yeah, it's layered. And also, I find with, with ceramics that it's really also, it reminds you of, for me, it's a French, French ceramics or Rococo decorative yeah. artwork, only it's transformed into something much more contemporary and, you know, relevant. And with that Rococo, you're starting yeah, with yeah. when the slave trade was happening and yes. you're coming to the present in a sense. The ceramic pieces are also usually stacked. There's a totem-like feel to a lot of Sam's work where it's almost a figurative stance, but it's made up of different fragments and layers, which I think relates a lot to how postmodern identity actually is being understood not as holistic you, you know unitary but as layers and fragments 